we're at East Village, which is a legacy site from the London Olympics. And behind us is one of the last phases, N06, which is a private rented scheme for Get Living London. We're bringing in 525 new homes to add to the nearly 2,000 homes that we've already got here at East Village at the Olympic Park. N06 basically is a residential building. The thing that makes this different is the build methodology for the towers. We are attaching the facade to the slabs before we bring them onto site and we bring them in in a module which is then landed on in one. So as soon as your slab goes onto the deck you also have your facade fully fitted. HRS is an optimised logistical solution, so the first thing we do is look at the size of components that we can safely ship to site and lift into position. Once we've worked out the modularisation, we then review the engineer's design and make sure that they can all be done in the right size components for the platforms. When we assemble all these units, we put them into a BIM 360 modelling and that enables us to track it from design through manufacture, dispatch and then delivery to site, so we know where every component is every step of the way. Mays built N08, which is 482 apartments uh, just over there. And the project N08 was where we pioneered our jump factory. And the lessons we learned from the jump factory really allowed us to understand the benefits of componentizing the construction process. What we're doing here is the first in the UK and it's a really exciting thing to work on. On site we get the floor plate prepared so we use um, a multitude of different propping systems we get them all set so that we have a just-in-time delivery of the unit lifted up in a very quick time and landed onto these preset props that then creates the working platform very quickly for the labour up on top. We also have bathroom pods and utility cupboards that come in and get landed and by that point you're also working on doing all the final touches to the rebar lining and levelling the facade and then you start the next process again. The benefits of Mace Tech are that it will drive uh, the very, very fastest program because we can predict so accurately exactly how long it takes to, to install every single component. So the program delivery is not only significantly faster, but it's guaranteed. Our total aim for a completely enclosed floor, we're targeting five and a half days. Now we believe we can actually achieve a quicker time than that but our first goal is five and a half days. At the end of every week, we've got a full floor that we've built. Everyone can turn around and physically see that we're really making progress at the building. I actually believe that the method that we're using is the way forward. It's great to see that we're pushing the boundaries on health and safety off-site. We're giving them quality you cannot deliver on site, and we know that because we've done it. But taking the work and the height risk away from the guys and girls who work in our job every day, that gives me a warm feeling, that we are thinking in a way to protect others. We don't need the design of the building to be bespoke for modularisation. We're able to take the design of any building and just put it together in a smarter, faster way. When I look at what Mace are doing uh, and the way I think they're really innovating and to some extent disrupting the sector, uh, I think uh, from a client perspective, we absolutely applaud that. From the client, they get a better product, they get a better journey, they get more certainty. For me, it's a win-win. <laughs>